Hi you guys, I hope you are having a good day. So uh, today we are going to learn about what are DE Manager and how we can use DE Manager. So DE Manager works exactly the same way, almost exactly the same way Web Collect do. Okay. Using Web Collect or DE Manager, you can get the subscriber data from a web form that is on a website and then you can store that data into a data extension or a list. The only difference between Web Collect and DE Manager is that using Web Collect, you take the data from subscriber through a web form and store that into a list. On the other hand, with DE Manager, you take the data from subscriber from a web form on a website and store it into a data extension, not into the list. Okay. So uh, I have another video already built, already recorded for Web Collect. I'll include the link of that video into the description you can check that video out if you want to learn how you can use the web collect okay so here is the article on of the de manager on the article you can collect you can collect the sample code for the web for the de manager okay you can just copy this code okay you need to have a server and the domain obviously if you need to build a web form okay i have this okay now you're gonna just paste that code okay which we just copied from the document okay you need to main, uh, provide the stack that you own like i own the stack 10 account marketing cloud account so i just mentioned cl.s10.exactTarget.net okay other than that you need to provide the account id which is 14646 you can find the account id in here okay you can find the stack of your account here mine is stack 10 you can be stack 4 stack 6 stack 1 okay if there is nothing here then it must be stack 1 okay here you need to provide the external key of the data extension okay i'm just gonna go open this data extension okay this is this is the target data extension when my customer will fill fill the form on the website that data should be saved into this data extension i'll copy the external key here you can find the external key in the properties section i'll go here i'll provide the external key here okay the action should be add just keep it as it is okay what should be the success url because let's say when subscriber fill the form uh, and it succeed and where should the subscriber reach okay i already have a thank you page created for that i'll show you that quickly this is a thank you page Okay, so when subscriber fills the form it gets added into the data extension the data gets added it should be redirected to this thank you page okay i have provided that url here if the if subscriber fails to add the data where should he reach he should be redirected to let's say this url i just mentioned the google.com url okay now here you will provide the attributes or the input values that need you need to have in the form Okay. Here in the data extension, I have three attributes, email address, first name, last name. Okay. You need to provide those input value values in here. Okay. Just make sure you have the correct data type. Okay. I have first attribute with the name email and data type is email address. So here the data type should be email address. Type of the input should be email address and name should be email. Okay. That's how so the same way we, I have the first name and the last name and the submit okay i'll just save this form here okay we are gonna visit this form okay now i have this form here okay you can use the styling css and html you can use the bootstrap to style this form if you want this is just a test form okay uh, let's test this form now if it's working as we expect it to Okay. okay i provide my email address here okay and my first name and my last name okay now i fill this i click the submit button now this data will get stored into the data extension the one which i used okay we have reached to the thank you page that means the data has been saved 
to the data extension. Let's go and check. Okay, you can see the email has been received here. It is here. The first name and the last name both are here. Okay, so this is one more way to store the data into a data extension using a web form that you have in a, on a website. But uh, there are few limitation of this form. Okay, so uh, as we show, as we saw, if you have seen the other video of the web collect, you must have seen that web collect require JavaScript code. Okay, which uh, which is a default code you can get it from the portal okay uh, this does not require that javascript code data de manager but the problem is it takes time to insert the data into the account because it uses http protocol and takes time to store to send the data on the server on the marketing cloud server okay like if you will see again we will again fill the data here it will take almost seven to 10 seconds to send the data. You can see it takes time, even though my internet connection is working just fine. So uh, instead of using this, there is a better way to do this. You can use Marketing Cloud, SOAP and REST APIs to get the data from a subscriber form and then store it or the send it to your Marketing Cloud account. I'll cover that into a next video, another video. You must go through it, okay? Thank you, have a good day, bye.